it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, we are gonna talk about the search icon. I love it. So I get kind of excited because recently I was working with an entrepreneur and I was like, ooh, ooh, we'll go find it in the search box. So we go up to edit and search, and I'm like, you know, I really need to create a QuickBooks Tip and Trick on that because I have not done it yet. So in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, we are gonna talk about the search box. So come look over my shoulder and I will teach you how. All right, so I realized that in the video, I technically said the search box, but we're actually gonna use the find feature within QuickBooks. If you go up to edit, find, you'll see, or control F, you can go in and look things up this way. I'll, sh I'll explain a little bit more as we look at it. So if you click on that, you'll notice that you can look up all different kinds of details. So if you're looking for invoices by invoice number, or you know a dollar amount, but you can't find something. So that's basically what this find allows you to do. It allows you to go in with the facts or the things you do know and look up different things. So you can look it up by type, transaction type. It gives you all the different types of transactions. Or you can look it up by invoice number. You can look it up by the actual customer or the date or the amount. That's what you can look up in the simple. If you go over to the advanced, you can click on any of these. It gets a lot more, you can get a lot more detail. If you go to say amount and you don't necessarily know that if it's an invoice or how you created it, you can actually go directly under advanced, click on amount, click equals. That's what I usually do. If I know it equals say a hundred dollars and then you can click find and any transaction you've ever done for a hundred dollars will come up, whether it's a check, whether it's a credit card, an invoice, a deposit, whatever it is for that amount. So in the video, I had mentioned that recently I'd been working with a client and she was looking for money she had deposited into the bank, but she wasn't sure which invoice it needed to be applied to. And we were going back looking at, it's, we're in 2016, she was going back into 2015. So she was able to type in whatever dollar amount she was looking for, hit search and then find it. So that was the way we were using it. You can use this in all kinds of different ways. Just get in here and mess around. You can do any amount. You say under a particular class, you could do any amount or you can look it up by billing status. Like you can, this goes all the way down. Any transactions you've ever looked up, anything you've ever voided and you can click find and anything you've ever voided or deleted will be in here as well. So it's actually a really cool feature just that allows you to go in and look things up that you don't know another way to find. You either know the dollar amount, you know it was an invoice, you know it's a customer. So sometimes clients, um, when I teach people how to do bookkeeping, they know, they got the information of the invoice number, but maybe they don't know which customer it was for. So you can type in the invoice number, search it, and then it will tell you what the customer is. That's another way to track it. So I hope this tip has been helpful for you. If anything, it's about just creating confidence with QuickBooks, going in and getting more familiar with it. Again, to get this feature, you go under edit, find, or control F and you will be able to do the research. I do wanna share with you, I do my tips and tricks every Wednesday. I happen to be doing a workshop tomorrow, Thursday, April 28th, depending on when you're watching this video. And it's about learning how to get started with QuickBooks, understanding how to keep it super simple because a lot of times entrepreneurs overcomplicate it. So if you are interested in that topic, look up at the top right, there's either words or I icon and it will share with you the details of how to register, or you can check out the comments below. And if you haven't heard, Confidence with QuickBooks, my online program where I open up twice a year, I teach entrepreneurs from the beginning of QuickBooks through the end, how to customize QuickBooks for your specific business. This is for anybody who's either brand, a brand new user or you tried to start figuring out, but you're lost to somebody who's advanced, but just doesn't really understand. I've worked with people who've been teaching or using QuickBooks, I should say, for 10, 20 years and still aren't familiar with different areas of QuickBooks. So it doesn't really matter what experience level you are. If you really like my tips and tricks and you wanna get more familiar with QuickBooks or learn a specific area, the great thing about the course is you don't just get the how-to videos. There are live Q&A training times with me where I go in and answer your questions about how to apply what you're learning to your specific business. So feel free to check out confidencewithquickbooks.com. I also go up to the I and they're up at the top right, and there will be a little place you can go and check out more details. So thank you again for this tip. Go in, check out the find feature, use it, and I will see you guys in next week's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.